everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to try to make this video short and simple. This is one that has been requested a few good different times and I have done one of these videos in the past, um, but a lot of things, well not a lot, but some stuff has changed in my hair care routine. So I, and you know, there were some stuff I did forget to mention in that video that I would like to mention in this video. So yes, yeah, so this is my updated hair care routine video and I'm just going to get right into it. So I'll start off with my shower care routine I guess you could say so for the shower I don't wash my hair every single day please do not wash your hair every single day that's horrible for your hair I probably wash my hair about every three to five days um which sounds gross I know but like my hair is good so it it's obviously working you don't need to wash your hair every single day because that just really can destroy your hair you're stripping your hair of all its natural oils that it needs to keep your hair strong and protected so like I said I only wash mine three to five days and also <laughs> once your hair has reached a certain point in length washing it is just a hassle and you get like hair everywhere in the shower and your hair will try to choke you it's just a whole ordeal in itself so yeah, three to five days is how um, many days ago I'm between washing my hair. And sometimes I will only do a scalp wash. So what a scalp wash is, is literally what it sounds like. You just wash your scalp. So how I do this is I will pull all my hair up into a bun, well a ponytail, and then I will just braid the hair and I wrap it in a bun and then I just wash my scalp. So I'll only get this part of my hair wet the bun I won't get wet and for the bun you can wrap it in like a plastic bag, plastic wrap, shower cap, um, sometimes I'll wrap it in any of those but sometimes I just leave it out and I'm just very careful. If you get a little bit wet it's not a big deal. Um, and also you have to have a certain length of hair to do this because obviously if you have like a pixie cut it's just not going to work. So yeah and with scalp washes you need to be very careful and making sure that you're getting all of the shampoo out because you don't want, obviously you don't want to leave it in your hair because then that's just going to be kind of nasty and build up. So yeah, just scalp wash and it really helps protect my hair um, because like obviously I'm not stripping all of my hair of like the natural oils that it needs. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use. I love this stuff. This is the Aussie Mega Moist shampoo and conditioner. Not sponsored, but I do love Aussie products. You just have to find you know hair products that work for you and what your hair needs the most um i my hair doesn't really get dry but i use so many like products that like promote moisture in my hair that i don't know if my hair would get dry like if i didn't use so much but i love products that are just gonna give my hair extra moisture anyway so i really recommend this line but again you just have to find what works for you hair masks i love hair masks cannot say that enough i love them i recommend them I would say probably only do hair mask every few times a month. You don't need to do it every time you wash your hair. But yes, I love hair masks because they're good to just give your hair extra strength and moisture. So this one I used for a while because it's such a big container and I actually really enjoyed this one. This is Hair Mask Smoothing Keratin and Silk Protein. Apparently it helps hair looks and feels silky, smooth, shiny, and stronger. And I felt like it really did that for my hair. Um, I got this at Ross and the brand is kind of just like not really there. On the side it says Rudy, um, Rudy Profume, I don't know. But yeah, so it looks like this. Obviously you don't need to use this hair mask. Again, just find whatever works for you. Um, but yeah, I liked this one really well. Aussie has a good one. Uh, Garnier Fructis has a good one as well, I believe. Um, and I recently used this one, and I just bought this little packet at Walmart for like $1.99. And it's the Keratin Protein Soften and Prevents Breakage in Weak Damaged Hair. And it's their Smoothing Deep Conditioner one. I love little hair mask uh, pouches like this. I think that they are just so incredibly perfect. Um, in all fairness, I probably should have gotten two because I have such long and thick hair. But yeah, so hair masks, I feel, are essential. Again, you don't have to do them every single time you shower or, or wash your hair, I mean. And also, you don't have to buy some. You can make some. Um, there's so many, so many recipes online for, like, natural hair masks. So, if that's something you're interested in, you can look into that. I usually just buy them to save myself some time. But, um, one thing I do kind of like to do that I would consider kind of a hair mask is I will take coconut oil and I will probably rub it 
on I'll take a good amount and I'll like rub it from like here all the way down to the tip of my hair and then I will just throw it up in a braided bun and I will sleep on that for like 24 hours and I'll wash my hair and the, like the ends will be so silky and so smooth but I'm very careful about not putting the coconut oil too high up on my scalp because then I'm gonna have to work that much harder to get the coconut oil off of my scalp um, which will strip more of the good oils from my hair. So when I get out of the shower and I've washed my hair, what I like to do is I like to use the Aussie Leave-In Conditioner. This is their hair insurance one. And this one smells so amazing. And I just love it. It's really great for getting rid of like kind of like any flyaways I might have or any knots and tangles. I love this stuff so much. Um, and then another hair product I've been using is castor oil. And I, for some reason, could not find castor oil for the longest time. And one time I asked one of the ladies at um, Walmart who was, like, kind of working in the, like, beauty pharmacy section. She saw me looking around, asked if she could help me. I was like, yeah, like, do you guys have castor oil? Why did she tell me to go to the automotive section? Like, what? And then the pharmacist heard, and she's like, what are you talking about? Don't send her to the automotive section. I don't know, it was this whole thing, those two got in a fight, and it was a thing, like, I don't know. But anyway, castor oil. So, this is the brand I've been using. It's the Beauty Untouched Castor Oil Hair Serum, and it helps promote strong, healthy, and resilient hair. And I got this one at Ross, I want to say. I get a lot of things at Ross. But this one has castor oil, argan oil, and hemp seed oil. So it just looks like that. And I really love this one. <laughs> this is a good one. Um, it's a serum that doesn't get, like, it's not super thick and it doesn't make your hair oily. So I have to use a good amount of this stuff because I have so much hair um, and it's so long. But it never makes my hair look greasy or oily. This stuff is such a good product. My boyfriend even uses it, which I don't mind because he's a really dry scalp and like he has really sensitive scalp. Um, and this has really helped him too. And I have noticed my hair, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like my hair has actually grown like a little bit faster since using this stuff. Um, and honestly, I use these two things daily, even if my like hair isn't like freshly washed, I will still use these. Um, and this one I use a few times throughout the day. Just because I like how it smells, but also I just like keeping my hair, you know, nice and healthy, I guess. Now, when it comes to haircuts and trimming my hair, I do all that stuff myself. Um, I even dye my hair myself, which I dye my hair black. Um, I have really, like, naturally dark, dark brown hair that it's almost black, but I have naturally black eyebrows. So it really annoys me because... I can see that they don't match and I've had some people even be like oh do you dye your eyebrows black like no so I do dye my hair black um which I actually do need to dye it again but it's such a hassle to dye my hair when it's this length so I can't be bothered at the moment but yeah so all that kind of stuff I do myself and for trimming my hair I will take the smallest amount and I what I like to do is obviously I do this when my hair is damp and I just take probably like this big of sections and I just kind of like make sure it's all brushed out and everything and then I just kind of look for like split ends or just ends that look a little weird and I will cut those out and then when I get done with that it's a very tedious process I'm not gonna lie I'll just like bring it all to the front make sure it's all even kind of even things out if needed so that's really all I do for the hair cutting process Alright, so I'm trying to make this video fast. I'm so sorry if I'm like talking fast. Um, so I do that and then let's see. I like to keep my hair just out of the way. Um, I try not to put it up in buns so much because that, you know, can be very damaging for your hair. So what I like to do a lot of times is braids. I like to do French braids, um, Dutch braids, and then sometimes I'll just do like two little like pigtail braids. And it just kind of helps keep the hair out of the way or I'll just do bring it all to one side and do one braid like that. And that just keeps my hair out of the way. It gives me a cute style, but I'm not damaging my hair horribly. Um, also, heat. I don't use heat on my hair like ever. Every once in a while, I'll go in and just straighten my hair. Um, this is my natural hair texture right now. Um, there's a little bit of waves up in kind of like the root area just because... 
I'm like recovering from being very sick and so I took a shower last night had to wash my scalp and then I just couldn't be bothered to make sure it was all dry before I went to bed don't do that it's very bad for your hair but I was pretty much dead so anyway um, so there's a little bit more wave into the root area than there normally is. But yeah, so this is my normal texture. Every once in a while, I'll go in and just make sure everything's pinched right. So I can really see how long it actually is. And kind of compare the growth from a few months previous. So that's pretty much it with heat. My biggest tip is, honestly, leave your hair alone. Unless you're going to be putting in like good oils and all that kind of stuff, leave your hair alone. Just put it in braids and leave it alone and let it do its thing. That's my biggest like tip on my hair care um, or my like hair growing journey is just leave it alone. Um, and then I try not to even brush my hair. A lot of times I just like finger comb through. Sometimes I do have to get in there and get the brush, but I just am very careful about it. I never brush my hair when it's wet. You should never brush your hair when it's wet. When your hair's wet, it's at its like most vulnerable state. So for those of you who are curious about how long my hair actually is, it goes right to my belly button so let me stand up so here's my belly button my hair goes right to it so it's long but it's not as long as i would like all right guys so i think that is it on my hair care routine or hair care tips i don't know whatever you want to call it hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you guys have any good tips leave them down below and maybe i'll give them a try Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to follow me on any of my social media, check the description box down below. They're linked down there. And thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in my next video.